Hi everyone, welcome to Northeast Living. I'm Mar Jennings, your host. Summer is just getting started, and if you're looking for a great place to take the kids that's not just fun, but educational too, have I got a great idea. Take a look. Dinosaurs became extinct over 160 million years ago, but here at the Connecticut Science Center, they're coming back to life. He's cool! The Dinosaur on Earth exhibit at the Connecticut Science Center is not that scary. Like Nicholas said, it's cool. Not only do you get to see different species of dinosaurs, you get to learn all about them. Of course, the most popular dinosaur here is the Tyrannosaurus rex. Just like all the other animatronic dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus rex lifelike size and motion will leave you breathless. To get a little more insight about the Dinosaurs on Earth exhibit, I had the pleasure of chatting with Hank Gruner. When we're walking around, what kind of dinosaurs are we going to see? Well, you're going to see some of your favorites, like Stegosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex. Which is my favorite. Tyrannosaurus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people like Tyrannosaurus. So you'll see some other unusual ones, like Omeosaurus, mm -hmm. and also some smaller ones that look more like birds, look like a hybrid between a bird and a reptile with scaly legs and teeth. Of course, birds don't have teeth. Those <laughs> are the hybrids of the dinosaurs. Now, you have some new findings that you're showing in the exhibit. Tell me a little bit about that. Actually, uh, this, it's a great time to come down to the Science Center and explore some of the great um, challenges and mysteries of science. Just this year, they were able to sequence some protein from um, some of the bones that they found and get a DNA sample that basically told that they're very similar to birds. They're finding feathers on them now? They are. Not only are they finding feathers on them, but they actually are finding the follicles right inside the skin, so they're finding some very interesting things. Have you ever seen coprolite dung stone, also known as fossilized poop? Well, that's one of the things you'll see at Dinosaurs on Earth. We have about 23 different fossils. Some are replicas, but some are real. You can find oviraptor eggs, uh, see some bones from some of the larger dinosaurs. So not only will you see some skeletons of dinosaurs. Wow, he really needs to eat a burger. Uh, but you'll also see some fossils in some other parts of dinosaurs. There's a lot more to enjoy at the Connecticut Science Center, like forces in motion, kids space science at play, a river of life wet zone where you can interact with some aquatic creatures in their touch tank. And don't forget their 3D movie theaters. I want to learn a little bit more about the dinosaurs, so I'm going to watch Sea Rex and Flying Monsters. Let's go. For a fun educational adventure, take a day trip to the Connecticut Science Center. It's right over the Founders Bridge in Hartford. For more information, visit their website. And oh, by the way, be sure to say hi to Rex for me. We're all familiar with the size of carpet and the big push for using 100% natural fibers in our home. As a result of this big design trend, Wicker has made a brand new rebirth when it comes to overall design in our home. Let me show you a couple wonderful ways to incorporate Wicker in your home. Now we're not talking your grandmother's Wicker, something completely different. Furniture trays and baskets are a wonderful way to invite Mother Nature into your space while also providing a great vintage mood to your overall home. This seagrass wicker ottoman plays beautifully in this space because it complements both the size of carpet and the room, creating a wonderful cohesive overall design. And it's not so bad to put your feet up on top. This square wicker ottoman has a very modern feel to it. It's perfect as an end table or even taking two and creating a coffee table. Add a bench, a pair of ottomans, or even a chair to expand seating options and to block off the space. I love to use an oversized basket for storing my firewood. Both the wood and the basket work beautifully together. But sometimes the best wicker can be found in your attic basement, or even a tag sale. Simply dust it off or give it a fresh coat of paint and enjoy its history and personality. Old or new, stand up or sit down. In wicker, of course. Either way, you'll love the fact that it's both decorative and long-lasting. So go ahead and invite Mother Nature in your home. I promise you, she won't ask for a seat. It's that time of year when the garden centers are loading up with beautiful annuals and perennials. 
Now, as an author of a gardening book, I've been to many different garden centers across the country, but this place, Baggett's Family Farm in East Windsor, will totally knock your socks off when you see their homegrown collection. So Barbara, coming here, it's like visiting a botanical garden. It is so beautiful. How long has this been a family-run business? 40 plus years. 40 plus years, and it's a full service garden center. That's correct. So we have annuals, vegetables, perennials, your landscaping um, needs, hanging baskets, container gardens, planters, anything that the basic gardener would need right through to the seasoned person. Someone that's looking for something new, we probably have it. Now, I am no stranger to garden centers, and what I notice here immediately is that you have the best prices I've ever seen. How's that possible? About 98% of what you see here is grown here. The basic uh, impatient, petunia, uh, verbena, dianthus. Um, we're able to grow that here from seed, and as a result, we can pass the savings along to our customers. There is a rainbow of color and combinations when it comes to your hanging baskets. That's right, Mar. And if you don't see something that you're looking for, just ask us. We'll make it for you. That's great. Well, Barbara, I've come to the right place and I'm so ready to shop. Okay, then let's get your wagon. Their scents will save you dollars. So what are you waiting for? Baggett's Family Farm, located on South Main Street, Route 5 in East Windsor. It will change your gardening life. You can get so many different great ideas from visiting such a wonderful garden center like Baggett's. We're gonna take a short break, but before we do, I have this week's fun trivia question for you. What restaurant is housed in a 1909 post office and offers up homemade beer made right on site? We'll have the answer for you when we come back. Welcome back. So, do you know which restaurant is housed in the 1909 post office and offers up homemade beer right on site? It's the Willimantic Brewing Company, and our own Elaine Irvin stopped by to check it out. What do you get when you take the crafters of award-winning beer, great food, and fantastic atmosphere? You get the Willimantic Brewing Company, also known as Willie Brew. So to find out what makes the beer taste so great, I'm here with the owner and head brewmaster, David. So David, tell me your secret. Well, we use a lot of fresh ingredients. We get grains and barleys from all over the world, Germany, England, uh, the US, Belgium, Canada, along with our hops too. So most of the ingredients that we use come from various places so we can design all different styles of beer. If it was something like this, a grain like this, that would be your darker beer. We would right? make porters and stouts or a beer that I have in the tank right behind me, a dunk ale, which is a German style dark uh, brown ale. The spent the barley brown. that we have gets taken out of our mash tun and we have a local farmer that takes it and feeds it to his dairy cows. He also uses it for compost. We have a local guy out of Portland, Connecticut, and he's making these dog treats. Yeah. So he mixes them with peanut butter and some other um, ingredients, and now we sell them. And then the brewer's bread that we serve with salads and with dinner, some of the spent grain is in that. We have a beer butter, so we mix a little bit of maple syrup and cinnamon and some beer, and we cook that all down. And then when you get that with the beer bread, oh, it's, it's to die for. 
So David, you're known for your fantastic beers, but you also have a great menu. This looks really good. Thank you. We have a large variety of items, over 120 on our menu, such as our slow cooked ribs, Aero Postal Pizza, mozzarella and tomato salad. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is the Parmesan and Crested Tuna. My favorite too. We have five, six different varieties of wings, even an Oive, which is super hot. Ooh, and we Oive. have burgers and nachos, and uh, we have Chinatown chicken salad, a nice fresh salad with mandarin oranges on it. Less calories, big taste. That's for sure. We, we really run the gamut with what we have available. So you pretty much have something for everybody. I like to believe so. Willimantic Brewing Company is in the historic post office on Main Street. It's great to hang out with your family and friends, whether you're in their dining area, bar, or outside patio on a beautiful sunny day. You can also book them for parties or company luncheons. So tell me about Sign Deck. Well, if you come in on Sunday and you bring your own drinking vessel, we can put cider, soda, or even beer in it for deep discounts. Oh, wow, that's great. So if you're looking for handcrafted beer, great food, and fantastic atmosphere, the Willimantic Brewing Company is the place to be. It's not just a restaurant, it's a destination. Visit their website for more information or look them up on Facebook. To us. Thank you very much. Mm. I'm here at Ikea in New Haven to talk about designing a room that grows with your child. Whether you have a baby or a teenager, the possibilities are endless when you come to Ikea. I'm here with Dale in the children's department. Hi Dale, it's great hey, to see Mark, you. Hey Mark, good to see you. You know I love to design spaces that are very smart, so where do we start? Well let's start with finding furniture that can grow with your child, so you get the most bang for your buck. And this bed is a perfect example. It actually expands to three different sizes. It goes all the way from being a little toddler bed to a real twin. So you take your child from three to 23. And you know, I'm 93 pounds and it's very secure, not to mention comfortable. So where do we go from here? Let me show you some adaptable storage ideas. Great. When you think about adaptable storage, you don't think about a bookcase. I know, but our Expedit series is an excellent option for adaptable storage because they can be used for books, they can be used for storage. As you can see, we have lots of options for containers. You can use them horizontally, vertically, some can be hung on the wall. Or you can even put them on wheels. Even on wheels. So Dale, this is solid wood. Tell me a little bit about this furniture. This is our Hemnes line. It's really quite beautiful. It comes in black brown, gray brown, and white, and lots of different styles. So. Um, one of my tips that I wanted to talk to you about is giving your child, it's really nice to give your child a shared space in your main living area. And something like this, you give your kids a drawer for all of their craft supplies, for video games, for little toys that they collect at fast food restaurants, all of that stuff. And your downstairs home accessory market is the best for anything that you possibly need when it comes to containers or even wicker baskets. Perfect for anything that you want to take away. Dale, I've loved what you've done with the market. Thank you, we are so proud of this project. It really looks amazing, I'm so excited for you to see it. So textiles are such an easy and affordable way for a teenager to really individualize their own bedroom space and really personalize it. Because they're growing and their tastes are gonna change and this is a great way to stay current and also show your personality. Dale, I always love coming to Ikea. I have so much fun here. And we love having you. There is always something new. Everything's under one roof. Ikea New Haven is definitely worth the visit. Wickham Park in Manchester, Connecticut is celebrating its 50th anniversary. And being an avid gardener and an author of a gardening book, I needed to come and visit this place. This is Jeff, he's been here for 35 years and the Wickham Park is celebrating 50 years. 50 years. Yep. Tell me a little bit about the Wickham family. Well, the Wickhams were very generous. They left this, uh, their former estate to become a park and they left their fortune to help run it. So we're a nonprofit foundation. Uh, it, we opened in 1961 on July 1st. The original estate, it was 135 acres and then through gifts uh, and also through purchases and a land swap, we are up 250 acres now. What else can you do here? We have an aviary, the, very popular with the children. We have playgrounds, we have a nature center. 
Uh, we also have all our gardens, but uh, you can fly a kite, you can play frisbee golf. Uh, there's, there's lots of things to do. Tell me a little bit about the gardens, because it's not just your traditional English garden. You have a variety of different gardens that one can come, learn, and really experience all the plant materials and design concepts. Yep. We have, uh, there's eight different gardens in the park, and the uh, two of them are original to the estate. The uh, Oriental Garden and the Italian Shrine were part of the Wickham's estate. And since then, we've added the uh, English garden, which is a formal garden. We have a wetlands garden, which is a native, all native plants. So there's lots of extremes. We also have a, a rhododendron garden, and we have the uh, lotus garden, which is a Japanese theme. And the cabin at the top of the hill also has a uh, early American themed garden. And we're standing in the sensory garden, which is our newest garden. Tell me a little bit about you know your staff, because you have about only five people, but you do have a lot of volunteers that come in and garden clubs? We have five full-time people and several of them have been here for years so they're responsible for what you see and then we have part-time staff, college kids and retirees that, that work for us uh, different times of the year, different amounts, more in the summertime and then we have uh, volunteers in all the different areas. We actually have a lot of disc golf volunteers but we have garden volunteers also that help us out with different aspects of the garden care. So if you want to volunteer or just learn more about Wickham Park, I strongly suggest you check them out at wickhampark.org. For most of us, the first person we call when we're not feeling well is our moms. I know that's why I have mine on speed dial. But moms can't cure everything, even though they think they can. That's where Arrow Pharmacy comes in. They've been helping moms and families for over 22 years. So besides the hometown feel, what sets you apart from the other big chain pharmacies? Well, being an independent gives you that hometown feel where everyone does know your name. And what we decided to do is really cater to our patients. We specialize in all different insurances. So we niched out into businesses like durable medical equipment. And durable medical equipment is just a fancy name for home health aids. Commodes and wheelchairs and walkers and all types of different braces and ostomy products and diabetic care products. And specialty pharmacy are very limited distribution drugs. And these limited distribution drugs are available for a very small population of a disease. And we've been able to access those drugs and also become the expert in that particular specialty pharmaceutical. Another great quality of Vero Pharmacy is their convenience, like getting your blood pressure checked, their quick in and out flu shots, thank you very much, and their convenient drive through. So uh, you have a robot in the pharmacy. Yeah, Tell one, me one, one, about. one of the things that we pride ourselves on is technology. That's why we invested so heavily in our robot that we affectionately call Rex, and our robot actually fills 60% of the prescription volume that we have, both with high quality and with accuracy. So you don't have to worry about the, the customer getting the wrong prescription or the wrong amount. That's really cool. Well, we do worry about it, and that's yeah. why we invested so heavily into technology. Aero Pharmacy cares so much for their patients that if the patient can't come to the pharmacy, the pharmacy will come to the patient. So we were receiving phone calls, many from seniors, and says, mm -hmm. oh, could you have somebody bring that out? And we said yes, and yes became once, twice, 10 times, 20 times, 100 times a week. So we eventually said, hey, let's offer a free delivery service. Well, besides Spanish, what other languages do you speak here? Well, Italian by default, that's okay. me. And um, we also have French speaking, as well as Portuguese. So we can speak Spanish, Portuguese, French, wow. Italian, and obviously English. We can actually even write prescriptions in Spanish. We developed wow. a, a Spanish um, computer system to also write their prescriptions in Spanish. And believe it or not, there's a call for all those languages on a weekly basis. And we're truly the neighborhood pharmacy. So if you need a little bit more than mom's loving care when you're not feeling well, Arrow Pharmacy on Farmington Ave in Hartford is there for you. Stick around, we'll have more Northeast Living right after this. On a beautiful day such as today, West Hartford is a great place to stop and explore. 
This month, the town will have a huge celebration, so I stopped by to learn more. West Hartford has lots to celebrate, so much so they have a yearly event for it, and that's why I'm here to learn all about it. So Helen, tell me a little bit about Celebrate West Hartford. Well, Celebrate West Hartford is an annual event where we really highlight all of the things that West Hartford has to offer. And people come together, and what do you do? Well, there's many different components to the event, but mostly it's about community. It's about seeing friends and engaging with different organizations that exhibit here, um, arts and crafts show, pony rides, so there's a lot to do. There's something for everyone. And you can even come dancing, listen to music, great rides. Exactly. It really is a family event. It's multi-generational, so people come with their grandparents, families come with young children, teenagers come. There really is something for everyone. And each year it gets better and better, right? That's true. We always tweak it a little bit, but we like try not to repeat ourselves. So every year there's something fresh. And you come hungry. Please come hungry. <laughs> there's a huge uh, food court, and we have the usual fare of hamburgers and hot dogs and fried dough and that kind of thing, but we also Yummy. have some <laughs> terrific high-end food. We have organic food from Whole Foods. We have different local restaurants like Moe's Midtown. Um, we have Fleming's. So there's really great food selection. Now tell me about the road race because I've heard a lot about it. Well, this is the 25th running of the Celebrate West Hartford 5K road race. And it's a great opportunity for people to run in a community uh, race. There's lots of people do it who've never run before. Families run with their kids. Um, we even have people that are elderly, uh, eight, 80 years old and, and upwards who run in this race. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. It's multi-generational in that way. So what does it cost to get in? The event is free and it's open to the public. So there's no cost to get into the event. We have free pony rides, free horse-drawn trolley rides, and free entertainment all weekend long. On Saturday, the school bands perform, and on Sunday, we have three professional bands that, that perform. The event is also run by a core of volunteer members from our com community. That's great. So we work all year long to uh, organize the event and uh, make all the arrangements. But uh, really, the event is not intended to make money. It's in intended to be a celebration for the community. And you can't celebrate without people. So come and enjoy and celebrate with us. And there you have it. We hope you enjoyed this week's Northeast Living Show. And until next time, I'm Mark Jennings. Goodbye, everyone.